Guard is still searching for a missing Pasco County man whose boat was found yesterday eight miles offshore. And tonight, Pasco County reporter Eric Waxler is talking with those involved in the search and a fisherman familiar with the dangers of the Gulf. Back from another day of fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, Steve Johnson says he saw a Coast Guard helicopter searching the water for a fellow boater who's been missing since Sunday. I didn't know anything about it or else I would have kept a more vigilant eye, but we're always, I'm always out there keeping a good eye on folks and um, you know, trying to see in our surroundings and if anybody needs any assistance, we're always out there to try to help. Authorities say 57-year-old Andre Nolasco left from Nick Park Sunday morning to go fishing. His truck is still in the parking lot. Yesterday, a search crew found Alaska's boat with no one on it, eight miles off the coast near Hudson. Uh, it's not a good sign. Um, we try and stay optimistic. Port Ritchie Police Captain Michael Koch searched some of the coast in this small boat this morning, but found nothing. Obviously, the boat is found and he's not on. Something happened along the way. Meanwhile, Johnson runs flat snook in inshore charters and says he's always wearing a lanyard connected to the engine cutoff switch as required by law. He says it's also important to be very aware of your surroundings. Maintaining your, your area and make sure you understand what to do and know your limits and don't try to push it. And Alaska's ex-wife tells me that she and many family members are at the Coast Guard station now waiting and hoping for him to be found. In Port Ritchie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.